more than ever what we, we stand to lose, the more we let the land and nature be taken over for other purposes and let ourselves become disconnected. Like our soul self, when we're in these wild places and we see wild creatures, we might be driving home on the road at night and suddenly like a deer will, will cross onto the road. And you know, it's such a sacred moment. There's something really special about those moments. And I think it, it evokes something in us and, and reconnects us to that sort of pure and essential nature that we all have. It was very much, you know, having an interconnection between the women and a way of actually being able to relax and being able to get, to get into the space where you could actually think about the wider things outside yourself, which is really a very good space to be in, a better space to be than when I actually came in the door on the first day. So with that, I think the whole kind of experience of that and linking it in with the Kylak and linking with St Enders has been really, really good. but where do we connect and where do we find power in ourselves and once once our voices are heard it becomes so much easier to find common ground Siobhan really brought us into a very sacred space where we got a chance to really touch uh, where the words were coming from which was, which was a much deeper place so it was a very sacred experience for me and I felt very <laughs> with the land and with the goddess of the land. Perhaps there is a pathway to rescue the earth that doesn't cost very much. Seeing the love in the world. This is big and I am small. Take the little winds. How grief can crack us open and kindness mend us. How you ask us how we can make a difference by being present with each other. It gave me life, it inspired me and it gave me hope. Even though some of the conversations around the climate crisis are hard, um, this was a real life-giving project and creative and fresh ways of looking at things and getting to know people through it.